Good evening, my name is Carla Malazowski and I'm an instructional specialist in the Division of Consortia Choice and Application Program Services. It's my pleasure to be your host this evening as we learn about middle school enrichment and acceleration opportunities. If you take a quick look at the slide, you can see our agenda for this evening. Students can receive acceleration and enriched services in a variety of places. First and foremost, all students can receive acceleration and enrichment at their local middle school. In addition to the local middle school, we also offer the Middle School Magnet Consortium, which is a lottery program, and the Magnet Criteria-Based Schools, which is the focus of our conversation this evening. Let's take a look at what local middle schools offer. All local middle schools offer acceleration and enrichment. This acceleration and enrichment comes in a variety of shapes and forms. First, all middle schools offer high school credit courses in math and world language. Additionally, each middle school may offer various electives for high school credit. In addition to high school credits, middle schools themselves offer enriched courses, such as advanced mathematics coursework and historical inquiries into global humanities. Now we're gonna take a look at how students will be considered for enrichment and acceleration at their local schools. All fifth grade students will be centrally reviewed for enrichment and acceleration needs for middle school. Various data points will be considered for placement from the 2022-2023 school year, including report cards, map R and map M, as well as student services. In addition to local magnets, we also offer the Middle School Magnet Consortium, the MSMC. The MSMC is comprised of three middle schools, Argyle Magnet for Digital Design and Development, the Loiterman Magnet for Creative and Performing Arts, and the Parkland Magnet for Aerospace Technology. Each of these schools has 60 to 80 seats for out of area sixth grade students. Students are invited to attend these schools through a lottery process. Let's take a deeper look at the enrichment and acceleration that is available at the MSMC schools. Each of these middle schools, like all local schools, offer high school credits in math and world language. They also offer magnet courses or electives that vary by middle school based on the magnet focus. These courses may also offer high school credit. Students are considered for enrichment acceleration in the MSMC school through various data points. Parent input is also taken into consideration for course placement. Our focus this evening is regional middle school criteria-based magnet programs. We have various programs. Let's take a look at which schools offer these programs. We have a humanities and communication magnet. This program is offered for the Southern part of the county at Eastern Middle School and for the Northern part of the county at Dr. Martin Luther King Middle School. We also have a math science and computer science magnet. The Northern part of the county is served by Roberto Clemente Middle School and the Southern part of the county is served by Tacoma Park Middle School. Program eligibility is based on a student's home address. Later in this presentation, we'll show which students are eligible for which locations. Let's dig a little bit deeper into our magnet criteria-based program and look at what enrichment and acceleration is offered in these programs. Like local middle schools, these programs offer high school credits in math and world language. Each school has electives that vary, which may also offer high school credit. Each of the programs has three unique magnet courses that are part of the themed program. Later in our presentation, we'll be joined by the coordinators that will talk about these unique courses. Now we're gonna focus on how students will be considered for enrichment and acceleration at magnet schools. Consideration for enriched and accelerated instruction will be conducted by a central review of multiple measures. All students who demonstrate a need for enrichment will be placed into a lottery pool. A lottery will be conducted for placement into the criteria-based magnet programs. Now that we've looked at the various middle school offerings, let's look back at middle school as a whole. Middle schools have either seven or eight period days. All middle schools, as has been stated, offer high school credit in math and world language and some other courses. The student schedule is comprised of core courses, math, science, social studies, English, and even physical education. Middle schools also offer various courses such as world language, music, technology, art, and computer science. Each middle school has their own unique offerings. Let's turn our focus to students. 
for whom were these middle school magnet programs designed? Students who have been successful in these programs come from many diverse backgrounds, but share the following traits. They perform above grade level and require acceleration and enrichment. They demonstrate curiosity and intrinsic motivation to learn across multiple areas. They maintain a high level of commitment as well as perseverance and independence. They need to be able to work both collaboratively and independently. And truly importantly is that they have an interest in one or both of the themed magnet program. Before we meet the coordinators for the Down County programs, let's look at some of the similarities in these programs. Both programs are located in the Silver Spring Tacoma Park area. Each program has 100 seats for out of area students serving 16 high school clusters. Each program has a magnet theme that drives the program offerings. And in a moment, the, the coordinators will be talking about their offerings. The admissions process considers student academic profiles and instructional needs for enrichment. Students that are in the program are scheduled for three magnet courses and are part of the local school program for the remaining courses. Now that we've learned the general information about these programs, each coordinator is gonna take this opportunity to introduce you to the program at their school. We're very grateful to have the coordinators with us today. Hello, my name is Matthew Kerwin, and I am the Magnet Coordinator for the Humanities and Communication Magnet Program at Eastern Middle School. Eastern Middle School offers a traditional seven-period day for all of its students. Students who are enrolled in the Humanities Program at Eastern receive three unique instructional classes in addition to Montgomery County's traditional middle school instruction in math, science, physical education, and health. The unique classes in the humanities program consist of our humanities English class, humanities world studies class, and humanities media production and film class at each grade level. So what makes the humanities program at Eastern Middle School unique? First, it begins with teacher preparation. Teachers in the magnet program plan collaboratively in order to develop and emphasize both interdisciplinary themes and cross-curricular connections between the three magnet classes. In addition, students are scheduled into cohort groups, so they travel between the magnet classes together. These classes are scheduled in back-to-back -back periods, and the physical structure of the building places the classes in adjacent classrooms. These classrooms are separated by accordion doors. This scheduling and physical structure provides incredible instructional flexibility for our teachers. Teachers can teach traditional 45-minute periods to their class, 
or they can open the accordion doors and teach double period 90 minute classes in a seminar format together. Our collaborative projects will be able to include groupings across multiple classes and combine the themes and instruction from those classes. An example of this occurs in sixth grade uh, during the third marking period. In the world studies classes, students are learning about ancient Greek history, while next door in their English classroom, they're learning about and reading Greek myths. Then in their media production class, they're learning how to animate film using our animation software in our Mac computer labs. As the quarter moves through, students begin uh, engaging in interdisciplinary collaborative projects. It culminates in a Greek festival in which students will present a Greek myth in an animated film. They're gonna take their knowledge of uh, Greek myths and characters and write their own play, placing these characters in a modern day challenge or scenario and actually act out the play through their English class. And then they're gonna present research on Greek systems of government and historical figures through their world studies class. Students in the magnet program will see right from the beginning that instruction is different and accelerated. Students are being provided instruction two to four years above grade level. Uh, they are reading text and literature that is multiple years above grade level. Throughout the three years in the program, students are gonna focus on creating documentary films and expository essay writing. Skills that we focus on through all three years and all three classrooms include film composition and editing, interview skills, question asking skills, research skills. Students learn how to, to develop thesis, uh, theses and apply those in expository essay writing. Students will take these skills and this learning and apply it in both national and international scholastic competitions, such as the National History Day competition and the C-SPAN student camp competition, uh, competition. Thank you for listening to uh, our presentation on Eastern Middle School. I'm gonna turn it over to the coordinator for the Tacoma Park Math and Science Program. Hello, I'm Gary Einhorn, Magnet Coordinator at Tacoma Park Middle School. The mission of the Magnet Program is to provide an educational setting for students who are ready to master mathematics, science, and computer science at a high level. Students who grow and excel in our program are students who are enthusiastic about math and science. Our targeted instructional program in mathematics, science, and computer science goes beyond the MCPS program of studies. The content is based on the goals and objective of the MCPS curriculum, but it is highly accelerated, compacted, and enriched to meet the needs of highly able students. 
The program establishes an atmosphere that promotes thinking skills and instructional strategies, encouraging risk-taking and creative expression to help highly able students realize their full potential. The program is intended to encourage intellectual growth and foster a sense of personal academic accountability through a focus on scholarship, integrity, and hard work. Our standard mathematics sequence begins with magnet investigations into mathematics, and that's our advanced pre-algebra course. And then in seventh grade, students progress to magnet algebra, and in eighth grade, magnet geometry. Our courses cover all the objectives of the MCPS curriculum on which they're based, but they go into greater depth with topics and cover more topics that are not part of the standard MCPS curriculum. These topics include such things as set theory, finite operational systems, logic, and geometry, and art. Similarly, our science curriculum covers all the contents of the MCPS's middle school science curriculum, but again, we go into greater depth with topics, perhaps more in line with what students would study in a high school science course. We also include special topics such as biochemistry and forensic science. In computer science, it's important to know that the middle school magnet programs are the only place students can access three years of computer programming experience. We begin our exploration of computer science with some general topics such as networking, cybersecurity, and data management. Then we quickly get into programming. We use Python as our teaching language. Along with general programming, we also use programmable robots and custom electronic devices. And beyond Python, we cover topics such as web design, Android app development, and web programming using JavaScript. I'd like to end by highlighting our after-school activities program, as it is something that makes our school unique. In terms of participation, we have one of the largest after-school activities programs of any middle school in MCPS. We have many different clubs, including math team, math counts, tabletop games, Rubik's Cube Club, chess club, science club, difference makers, which is a student service club. We have drama, jazz band, and many, many more. And now we'll transition back to hear some more about the Magnet programs. Thank you so much to our amazing coordinators for sharing about their programs. Now we're gonna transition to some of the most frequently asked questions to help you learn more about these programs. Now we're gonna review the timeline of the process. All fifth grade students will be centrally reviewed for enrichment and acceleration. There is no parent application. In January, a letter with central review results will be mailed home to all fifth grade families. Students who demonstrate a need for enrichment and acceleration will be placed in a lottery pool. Students in the pool will receive enrichment services in middle school locally or regionally. Students not placed in the lottery pool will receive the MCPS curriculum and enrichment as needed. Let's continue with the timeline. In late January, early February, parents and guardians will be notified of the results. At that time, the appeals process will open. Any vacancies that develop in the program will be filled by students that are in the lottery pool. Let's remember, middle schools offer advanced coursework in mathematics. Also, middle schools offer historical inquiry into global humanities. Middle schools offer high school credit courses in a variety of subjects, and students who attend the MSMC also have the opportunity to participate in the courses that are offered there. Let's explore the benefits of using a lottery to place students into middle school magnet programs. The central review process reviews all fifth grade students to explore their need for enriched and accelerated services in middle school. In the past, this central review has revealed thousands of students in need of services. Building a lottery pool of students who demonstrate the need for enrichment and acceleration allows all of these students to be served. Implementing a lottery removes subjectivity of committee members reduces the splitting hairs review of students with similar academic ranges, increases opportunities for students, and it's easier and more transparent for the community to understand. Let's explore transportation. MCPS provides transportation from central stops for these programs. Transportation is offered for students that reside in the area that the program serve. Transportation is provided to each middle school magnet program from central stops usually at an MCPS school or facility, and these are determined by the Department of Transportation. Staffs may be several miles from a student's home. Parents are responsible for arranging the transportation to and from the centralized stops. Bus trips are significantly longer than they are to the local schools and vary by program and location. Please consider transportation as you're making decisions about accepting a seat in one of these programs. 
If you'd like more information about transportation, please go to the Montgomery County Public Schools website and click on transportation and magnet. This will have this year's bus stops and will allow you to explore what transportation may look like next year as routes are similar year to year. Let's review the timeline one more time. Right now in November, we're having parent information meetings. In January, families will receive the result of the central review and parents will receive the result of the lottery. The appeals process will also open in January. As I mentioned earlier, students are eligible for a program in the North or the South based on their home high school. Please take a moment to review the slide to see whether your student would be eligible for the upcounty programs at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Roberto Clemente Middle School, or the down county programs at Eastern Middle School and Tacoma Park Middle School. Now that we've reviewed the most frequently asked questions, we're going to transition to a question answer period. I'm very fortunate this evening to be joined by Nia, an MCPS student who has compiled questions that were sent in from the community. Nia, are you ready? Yes, I am, Ms. Carla. Okay, let's go. So families have asked, my child is currently in the CES. Does this mean that they will automatically be placed in one of these middle school regional programs? That's a very common question. MCPS is committed to evaluating students' needs for enriched and accelerated instruction throughout their school experience. In addition, this identification and placement process is designed to meet the needs of students at each level for both local and regional programming. Students that are currently in the Centers for Enriched Studies will be reevaluated for their instructional needs for middle school and are not automatically placed into the middle school magnet programs. All right. And was also want to know if there's any transportation from after school activities. Transportation varies. Transportation for after school activities may be limited for students in the neighborhood. Some students also take advantage of the public bus system. This would be an outstanding question to ask the school before making a final decision. They're also curious about how will vacancies in the program be filled? Another great question. As was shared in the presentation, if fifth grade students demonstrate a need for enriched and accelerated instruction, they will be placed into the lottery pool and guaranteed middle school enriched acceleration either at their local school or in a regional magnet program. When students are placed in the lottery pool, the lottery will be conducted and the first set of invitations will be made. Should we have vacancies, students will be invited from the lottery pool as needed. Great. Parents also ask, how can they provide you with information about their students to help with the admission process? Unless you're a private or homeschooled student or a student with missing data, we have all the data points we need. If your student is coming from a private school, is currently homeschooled, or was new to MCPS this fall, you may upload documents using the private school application on the website. Please upload the items that are outlined in the application. Unfortunately, we're unable to review student work awards, certificates, or teacher recommendations and reports. Now, another parent inquired, if they have an older student who is slash was in the program, does this mean that the younger student will be invited? Interesting question. No, each student is evaluated for their own enrichment and acceleration needs. There is no sibling link or legacy exercised in this process. The last question that's normally asked is, if students attend one of these programs, where would they go to high school? MCPS students, Entering high school have numerous options. We have great high school programs for all of our students. At the end of middle school, students are expected to return to their home high school. In addition, students have the option to apply for one of our many thematic regional countywide high school programs offered across the county. There are at least 31 programs, and some students are eligible for up to 18 of these programs. During your student's eighth grade year, MCPS will communicate these options and opportunities for families to learn more. I want to take this opportunity to thank Nia for compiling these questions and for helping everyone be more informed about this process. Thank you so much, Nia. Thank you, Ms. Carla. Thank you so much for joining me this evening to learn more about Montgomery County Public Schools Middle School Enrichment and Acceleration Opportunities. I thank you to the coordinators for sharing about their programs and to Nia for compiling the most frequently asked questions. A big thank you to ITV for producing this segment. If you have any more questions about the process, please look at the contact information on the screen and don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you again and have a wonderful evening. <music>